Are you looking for a way to take your online business to the next level? Selling wholesale could be the answer. It's a great business model that many entrepreneurs overlook. Most online stores sell their products directly to retail customers, but that's not always the best option. There are a bunch of benefits to wholesaling online. Instead of handling thousands of orders each month, you can make just as much money with only a handful of large orders. Selling wholesale can make customer support and marketing much more manageable, so you get more more time to enjoy the money you make. If you want to learn how to sell wholesale online, this video is for you. You'll learn everything you need to build a thriving online wholesale store in 11 simple steps. As a bonus, we'll also reveal 5 suppliers from the SaleWho directory you could use to source your first wholesale products. Let's get started. Before we get into the video though, let's announce the winner for the lucky drop, where the prize is a one year free membership to SaleWho directory or SaleWho dropship. We asked you to comment your greatest challenge in your dropshipping journey for a chance to win. The winner is AG. Just email us at partners at salehu.com with a screenshot of your YouTube comments history, which you can find on Google My Activity, and let us know which tool, SaleWho directory or SaleWho dropship you would like your free one year access for. Now back to the video. First, let's quickly clarify what wholesaling is. Wholesaling is further back in the e-commerce supply chain. A wholesaler will purchase products in large quantities directly from a manufacturer or another wholesaler. Then they sell these products in bulk to retailers. Retailers, on the other hand, will sell products individually. The wholesale market is huge. In the US alone, the wholesale trade industry is worth $11.4 trillion, so there is a lot of money you can make here. Think about all the products sold daily online and in brick and mortar retail stores. Most of those products were sourced from a wholesale business rather than directly from a manufacturer. So we've covered the basics and you might be thinking, is selling wholesale products online really a good idea? Let's quickly look at the pros and cons so you can get a better idea of whether this business model is right for you. Here are the pros. First, wholesalers can negotiate significant discounts with manufacturers by ordering in bulk. Second, competition generally isn't as fierce as selling directly to consumers. Third, you don't have to handle as many customer service inquiries. And fourth, marketing costs are typically cheaper than retailing. Here are the cons. You need more capital to invest in inventory. Second, wholesalers typically don't earn as much profit per unit as retailers, and the financial risks can be greater with wholesaling. That's why product research and finding reliable manufacturers are super important. And wholesalers don't interact directly with end customers. Getting product feedback can be more challenging. If you're still here, you're ready to take the next step and learn how to sell wholesale online. This section of this video will show the steps you need to create an online wholesaling business, from negotiating with suppliers to marketing your products. Here are the 11 steps to do wholesaling online. Let's dive in. Step one, source your product. The first step is to find wholesale products to sell. In most cases, you'll be dealing directly with manufacturers. That means there are a couple of different ways to source products. You can buy products that the manufacturer already produces for other clients, or you can design a custom product and get the manufacturer to produce it. The second option is always more expensive and time consuming. First, you'll have to work on a design and then reach out to manufacturers to see if they can produce it. Then the manufacturer will send out a prototype so you can make any adjustments before it goes into production. The main advantage is that you get a product that meets your exact requirements. But design and production can take a few months, and the cost is much higher. So the alternative is much faster. You can contact the manufacturer and buy a product that they already produce. This is how most new wholesalers get started. It's easier to judge the demand for existing products and minimize the risk. Some manufacturers also offer custom branding services so you can make the product your own. So where can you find manufacturers and distributors? One option is to search Google. When you know the type of product you want to sell, search for manufacturers locally and worldwide. For example, if you wanted to sell private label cosmetics, you could search for Skincare Manufacturer Texas. This method can help you find some suppliers, but it's also really time consuming. The best place to find suppliers and manufacturers is to use the SaleWho directory. You'll find over 2.5 million products sold by over 8,000 vendors 
recommended suppliers. So you'll be able to trust the suppliers you work with and not worry about some scammy manufacturer delivering low quality goods or running off with your deposit. Access to Sailhu also includes Sailhu Labs and Sailhu Dropship. These tools can be very useful for finding winning wholesale products. Before you dive into wholesaling, you need to validate your product idea. That's where dropshipping with Sailhu Dropship can be really useful for wholesalers. You can test out product ideas without investing inventory. This minimizes the risk and helps you validate products before transitioning to wholesaling. It's a critical step that helps you avoid sinking your money into products with little to no demand. You can also use our free tool to see if there are suppliers that can provide your product idea on the Sailhu directory. Simply enter your product idea and you'll see the potential suppliers waiting to take your order. Step two, negotiate with suppliers. As a wholesaler, inventory is your highest cost. So negotiating with suppliers is vital for profits. Long-term customers are the most profitable for manufacturers. You can use that to your advantage during negotiations by highlighting that you will be ordering in bulk and making repeat purchases. You can usually bring the cost per unit down by speaking to several suppliers and using the quotes you receive as leverage during negotiations. Remember that everything is negotiable. It's also essential to order product samples before you sign any agreement. Most manufacturers and wholesalers provide samples so customers can see the product in person before they commit to a large purchase. If the manufacturer already produces the product, samples are usually provided for free. However, if it's a custom designed product, you can expect to pay at least the cost price for the sample. Step three, create a wholesale store. The easiest way to create a wholesale store is to use a platform like Shopify. It makes the process of building a store from scratch fast and straightforward. Now, for those that already have a Shopify store and want to transition into wholesaling, you can use Shopify's password protection feature to create a wholesale channel. You can do this through online store, then click preferences in the Shopify admin dashboard. Once you've set up a password protected area in your store, you can list the wholesale prices of your products. You can also create a wholesale version of your store using Shopify Plus, the enterprise version of Shopify. This will cost you more per month, but it does provide some useful additional features. For example, you get separate order tracking and performance data to see how your retail and wholesale pages compare. Step four, add wholesale features using Shopify apps. You can add many wholesale features and functionality to your store using Shopify apps. Currently, there are over 300 apps listed on the Shopify app store to help you start selling wholesale. You'll find everything from wholesale pricing and inventory management to marketing apps that help you increase consumer and wholesale sales. Step five, create high quality product pages. Wholesale buyers are influenced by product descriptions and images just as much as consumers. Most buyers will want to see a product sample before committing to a large order, but your product pages convince them to take that initial step and order a sample. First, you'll want to take professional photos, highlighting your product's best features. Some manufacturers will provide images, but hiring a professional photographer ensures your product makes the best possible first impression on buyers. Next, you'll need to create engaging product descriptions. Like retail product descriptions, you should highlight your product's benefits and use cases rather than list the features. Try to focus on the ways your product will improve the lives of the end customer and how it is different from competing products. Need some inspiration? Here's a great example of an engaging product description by Weber. Most of your wholesale customers will use your product description for their retail stores. So focus on the end customer rather than the retailer. Step six, set up wholesale payment processing. Wholesalers deal with a wider variety of customers compared to retail stores. Depending on the types of businesses you want to sell to, you'll need to provide a range of payment terms and payment processing options. For example, you might want to sell to dropshipping businesses. In that case, you'll want an easy to use payment gateway that allows immediate payment when a customer places an order. With larger clients, you may have to offer 30-day net payment terms to encourage sales. Many of these larger clients also prefer to pay via check or wire transfer. It's important to offer a range of payment options to keep your customers satisfied and encourage new buyers. Step seven, organize shipping. Shipping can be more complicated when you sell wholesale products online. If you're dealing with a big retailer, they may have an existing contract with a courier. This means you just have to provide the pickup date and location, but this isn't always an option. If your products are fragile, you may want more control over the delivery process, including insurance to cover any damage during transportation. When you start to make more regular sales, you can negotiate an exclusive contract with a vendor. This can help you to cut delivery costs and speed up the 
order fulfillment process. Step 8. Set minimum order quantities. Wholesale businesses tend to turn over a lot of products to make a decent profit. If you spend time selling products one by one at wholesale prices, you'll struggle to make any money. To make sure an order is worth it, you can set minimum order quantities. That means a buyer must order a certain amount to be eligible to purchase. However, if you sell on an open online marketplace like eBay, minimum order quantities can stop consumers from purchasing your goods at wholesale prices. So what you can do is use staggered pricing. For example, when customers' orders meet a certain quantity threshold, they become eligible for a discount. So if you sold cotton pillowcases, you could offer 10 to 50 units at $10 per unit. If a buyer orders over 50 units, they qualify for $9 per unit pricing. Step 9. Register with wholesale marketplaces and directories. Once you've sourced your products and set up your store, the next step is to attract customers. Like most consumers, many modern retail buyers turn to the internet to find suppliers, and they use online wholesale marketplaces and directories. These platforms can help you connect with buyers and get your wholesale business found. You can even sign up as a supplier on the seller directory. It's a great place to get your business found by e-commerce stores, dropshippers, and retailers. You can also set your terms so that only businesses that meet your minimum order quantities and other specifications contact you. Alongside Sellhu, you can list your store on Worldwide Brands, Alibaba, Wholesale Central, Top 10 Wholesale, and 4 Wholesale USA. Make sure you do your research before listing your business in an online wholesale marketplace or directory. There are some great platforms out there, but there are also some spammy sites that aren't worth your time. Step 10. Attend trade shows. Trade shows are a great way to meet industry contacts and potential customers. There are thousands of virtual and in-person trade shows that take place every year. So whether you sell consumer electronics or baby clothes, you'll find an industry trade show to help you connect with your target audience. You'll usually have to pay a fee to get a stall for your brand, so make sure the trade show is a good fit before signing up. There are also a lot of virtual events that are usually more affordable. Trade shows can also be an effective way to meet manufacturers and distributors in your niche. Step 11. Marketing your wholesale business Marketing a wholesale business requires different tactics than your average e-commerce marketing strategy. You need to target retailers and focus on growing your client base. LinkedIn can be a valuable tool for finding buyers. For example, over 52% of B2B buyers list LinkedIn as the most influential channel during the research process. You can reach out to potential buyers directly with connection requests and promote your business in relevant groups. Offering referral incentives is an excellent way to keep your customer base growing. When an existing customer recommends you to a new client, you can reward them with a discount on their next order. If you have fulfillment capabilities, consider targeting dropshipping stores. These businesses typically only buy one product at a time, but the sales can add up over time. You can also charge a higher price to cover the time and cost of handling lower order quantities. That's it! You should be ready to start selling wholesale products online. To give you a head start, we've added a bonus list of 5 wholesale suppliers from the Sellhu directory. You can use these suppliers to source your first wholesale products. First is Home W, located in California. Home W Inc. is a manufacturer of handcrafted and semi-hand-blown glassware. You'll find everything from champagne flutes and tumblers to goblets and glassware home decor. Next is Ashbury Bloom, located in Ontario, Canada. Ashbury Bloom produces natural and sustainable body and skincare products. All of the products they supply are handcrafted using sustainable ingredients. Next, we have Roe and Ritzy, located in London, UK. The company offers a private labeling service for activewear, apparel, menswear, fashion, and other types of clothing. Next, we have Top Bright Animation Corporation, which is a global toy manufacturer with a base in Germany. You can order everything from steam-powered toys to educational wooden block games and children's telescopes. Last, we have IS3D Private Limited. Launched in 2012, IS3D Private Limited is an Australian manufacturer of catering and kitchen products. You can choose from an extensive range of niche products, including cutlery, napkins, cleaning supplies, mops, brooms, and more. To wrap up, I want to highlight that the boom in dropshipping and other e-commerce business models means wholesaling is often overlooked, but it's one of the best online businesses you can build. As online sales increase, e-commerce stores need wholesalers to provide the products they sell. So there's a huge growing market you can tap into with wholesaling. With the right products, you can grow a thriving business by selling wholesale online. That's where the Sellhu directory can help. You can find winning wholesale products and connect with vetted manufacturers. It makes it easier and faster to transition from dropshipping to wholesaling. Anyway, that's it for me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this type of content and want us to make more of it.
Also, if you want, you can sign up to Sellhoop. I'll leave a link to sign up in the description box below. If you're interested in wholesale, you might also be interested in high ticket dropshipping, which allows you to sell few products at high prices for high profit. Check it out here. Thanks everyone. See you in the next video.